transcending history and the world, a tale of souls and swords eternally retold. Soul Edge, a legendary sword and devourer of souls. Buried in the darkest reaches of history, it was brought back to light in the 16th century. The notorious pirate Cervantes claimed the sword as his own, setting everything into motion. Soul Edge adapted itself to its new owner by splitting into two. Possessed by the evil weapons, Cervantes began a bloody reign of terror, slaying all those seeking the swords without prejudice. Cervantes was eventually undone. Under the protection of Hephaestus, the god of smithing, a female warrior named Sophitia was able to destroy one of the swords. Shards of the blade flew and lodged into her body, causing near mortal wounds. Seeing his chance, Cervantes raised his sword to deliver the final blow. Suddenly, there appeared a ninja known as Taki, who rescued the wounded warrior. Taki defeated Cervantes in a battle to the death before carrying the injured Sophitia away. However, one of Soul Edge's two blades still remained. Perhaps it was fate. The blade fell into the hands of Siegfried, whose mind was twisted and unwell. Light pierced the heavens, the product of rampant evil, the evil seed. No one could have predicted it would become a catalyst for catastrophe across the world. Our story takes place in the 16th century. Tragedy befell this place. Ling Shen Su Temple was a famous martial arts school in the far reaches of China. It was there Killick learned to master the staff after he was abandoned as a child. Killick ate and slept with the other students and began his training at a young age. Despite this, he established a family-like bond with just one other student, Shang Len, a young girl who was like an elder sister to him. Dedicated to the way of the sword, she looked after Killick as if they were siblings. So close was their bond that when one felt happy or sad, the other would feel the same. Together they studied and grew as warriors. The years passed by. Killick's skill earned him a place as a teacher, an honorable position for one so young. Throughout the ages, Ling Sheng Su Temple had kept hold of the three sacred treasures, Krita Yuga, Devapara Yuga, and Kali Yuga. Killick's years of arduous training earned him the title of rightful bearer of the staff, Kali Yuga. Likewise, Shang Len was also designated bearer of Devapara Yuga, a sacred mirror. Our story begins on the night before the ritual for passing the treasures on to their new masters. Shang Len, can I ask you something? Sure. How come you were chosen to bear Devapara Yuga? 
I thought you'd get Krita Yuka. After all, you've dedicated your life to the sword. <sighs> Kalik, this is not easy for me to talk about, but I'm going to try. The Krita Yuga, it's no longer at Ling Shang Su. The sword has been gone for more than a decade. All that's left is the Kali Yuga and the Devapara Yuga. Really? Surprised? Well, there's more. The one who stole the Krita Yuga was none other than my father. That's why I don't have the right to bear it. If I were to accept the sword, everyone would be up in arms. That's why, even though it was offered to me, I decided to decline. Of course, I love Ling Shang Su, and I do wish to see my studies through to their conclusion. It's just... I... I just don't want the sacred treasures, or my status as a sacred bearer, or anything else to hold me back. You know what the monks say. Fate, Fate is, is carved, carved with, with your, your own, own hands. hands. When I spoke to them about that, they decided to let me bear Devapara Yuga instead. Now I can feel proud that I'm a sacred bearer just like you. Um, you know something, Killick? What? Uh, it's okay. Never mind. I'm really looking forward to tomorrow. Me too. And so it was, Killick and Shanglen were set to attend the official ritual for becoming sacred bearers. But the night before the ritual, a terrible calamity plunged everything into chaos. Drawn by the Kali Yuga in Killick's hand, the evil seed came to Ling Shen Su Temple. The monks, driven insane by the evil force, began slaying each other, turning the temple into hell on earth. What have I done? I don't understand. Everyone, stop this madness! Dharma Killik. It's kill or be killed. Huh? Shang Lin? Get a hold of yourself, Shang Lin. Young Lin! God! Shang Lin? Uh, 
Where am I? Hmm. Did you save me? Who are you? <sighs> you have yet to recover from your injuries. Rest. And that mirror, Devapara Yuga, wear it always. There will be grave consequences if you do not. Understand? <sighs> So, the power, the power of Davapara Yuga saved, saved me. me. That, that means... means... Shaolin. She, she gave, gave it to me. me. She, she sacrificed, sacrificed her, her life, life for me. me. And then I... I... I with my, my bare hands. hands. Why? Tell, Tell me, me Shaolin! Why am I still, still alive? alive? Have you not realized yet? You are being protected. Devapara Yuga suppresses the evil within you. Evil? The old man proceeded to tell a tale. He told Killick about the evil seed. How Devapara Yuga had pulled Killick back from the brink of insanity. How Kali Yuga had the ability to absorb power, and how it was falling under an evil spell. And finally, he told Killick about Soul Edge. Your fate will be set in stone the moment you lose your will to live. Your soul will be swallowed whole by your destiny leaving behind but a rotten corpse. That is but one path you may take. But perhaps it is the path you wish to take. To submit to that evil sword and its wicked power? Is that what you wish? To become a thrall? Do you see? All is in your hands. Shanglin. She, she told, told me, fate, fate is carved with your own hands. hands. Shang Lin gave her life so I could live. That, that leaves me only one choice. From that day forth, Killick bore the heavy weight of his karma. As Shang Lin's slayer and the last living member of Ling Sheng Su, he chose to face his cruel fate head on. If you continue upon this path, the evil within you will create a second soul edge out of Kali Yuga. The only reason you and Kali Yuga have yet to succumb is because of Devapara Yuga's power. However, all is not lost. You can learn to control the evil within. Yes, Master. Is that it? If this tests you so dearly, how do you intend to stand up to evil? <sighs> Sorry, Master. To control evil, you must first control yourself. 
Mastering your own will is the key to overcoming malice. Yes, Master. The enemy is powerful. You must stand strong, whoever your opponent. Uh, yes, Master. <sighs> Kilik, your next opponent awaits. Who? Sometimes things reveal themselves when you fight. I understand, Master. Battle one. Fight. Shall we? There. See. See ya. Two. Two. Could this be? See ya. There. Got it. Shoot. Shoot. Shall we? Ready? Take this! This will hurt! Ready? Take this! Battle 2! Fight! Ready? This will hurt! Ready? Take this! So, did you learn something? Yes. I believe I felt how delicate the balance is between myself and evil. I see. Then the time has almost come. Master? It is nothing. What are you doing? You have yet to finish your training for the day. Y yes, Master. Kilik, you have borne the burden of your training well. Yes, Master. Now we shall see how you fare against me. Uh, an actual fight with you? It would be an honor. Why do you hold back? Come at me! Yes, Master. Yeah! Yeah! You have improved. I understand why you were chosen to bear Kali Yuga. <sighs> Kilik, a shadow lies upon your soul. Take heed. If it envelops you completely, the evil within you will stir, and in time, tear at your soul until there is nothing left. You need to banish that shadow. I have shown you how to control evil. The rest is up to you. Yes, Master. Kilik, this will be your final test. You must seal away Soul Edge. 
the cause of all this madness and cleanse yourself of evil. Yes, Master. Head west. Keep going to where the wielder of Soul Edge awaits in the heart of a great maelstrom. You must live on, as have I. So you want to head west, do ya? Guess you're in luck, cause that's where we're going. But I warns ya, our ship ain't what you call luxurious. I don't care, as long as you're heading west. So, can I join you? Sure, why not? But it could end up costing you a pretty penny. <laughs> huh? Oi, driver! Where's you going? This ain't the way to the dock. Huh? You deaf or something? What the? He's been consumed by evil. I'll kill you! Damn. You leave me no choice. Battle one, fight! You saved me. Even us pirates ain't safe from bandits when we's on land. Thanks, matey. Sure. That has no, no ordinary, ordinary bandit. bandit. It, it takes, takes me back, back to that, that night. night. The shadow upon my soul. Shung Lin, am I strong enough? So, you're the guy who saved one of our own? On behalf of our Captain Maxi, I welcome you aboard. But, I'm gonna have to take that mirror from you till we hit land. Sound reasonable? This is one thing I can't give you. Why not? We're just gonna hold on to it. 
It ain't like it's payment for your ride or nothing. This is a keepsake from my sister. A keepsake, eh? You know, you know I don't know I don't what know I'd have done, done if it weren't for Maxie. Maxie. <laughs> okay, fine. I like you. I'll go speak to Maxie for you. You're one of us now. Thank you. Don't mention it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> yeah. It seems the captain has the trust of his crew. <laughs> You'll see why once you meet him. He ain't been back since he stepped on land. Probably got stuck at the bottom of a glass. <laughs> what the? You got some nerve thinking you could pick a fight with one of us. Hey, Killick, right? You're a passenger, so stand back. No, I want to join in. <laughs> in that case, welcome to the crew. It's showtime! It never ends. I don't understand. Why will you not relinquish your ego and let the evil consume you? Who the hell are you? Is it because of that mirror? You fool. Remember the massacre you caused? You let yourself run wild! I shall destroy the mirror and free you from its shackles! <sighs> Look out, Killick! Kill! <laughs> 